Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. We're at a Ferris wheel. I don't remember why. But that's why we have this handy dandy recap. Shoma is related to Horadori Institute somehow? I don't care! I'm Shoma's father! I won't let you lay a finger on him! In other words, Nyes, Tokiko, Chikara, and Horidori Institute are all connected. The machine looks pretty intimidating seeing it like this. And I'm so, so proud of you, Dad. Oh, wait. Yeah, we went this route, the personal father-son route. And we just came out of Shoma's brain. Okay. Eyeball. We're going for loving. What should I do to relax? Aerial yoga, yangar yoga, field yoga. Uh. Aerial? Oh, that was crazy. Oh, who'd you become? Date. Oh, man. I already have a date. Shoo. Man. Reset, reset. Oh no, I want to reset my eyeball. <laughs> How is it that the... Um... It won't grow any for Reset triangle. Yes. Bye! Okay, let's answer questions. What's your preferred cacao ratio in chocolate? 100. Man! I w that went crazy! You know what, let's just, let's just go for crazy now. Eventually, I will get all the the types, but yeah. Okay, so how do you like the Ferris wheel at night? It's not bad. You should have let my dad on too. He's waiting in a corner of the park. I thought it would be easier for you to talk if we were alone. No, that's not true. Things are different now. Good for him. Looks like the chastity belt of his heart has a lot. Hey, yo, Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday. Hey, Rigo, how you doing? Happy Tuesday! Thanks for joining! We showed the security guard at Misatana our police IDs to get in here. We told him this was regarding the investigation and he let us through. The main power at the amusement park is still on and the key to the Ferris wheel control board is still stuck in ignition, so it would be easy to move this. Nice. They're hijacking the Ferris wheel. Um, About your relationship with Horadori Institute. It all started with the test. The results from my health checkup at my elementary school came back abnormal, so they wanted to do more tests. But instead of the hospital, I was taken to Horidori Institute. Oh. The test results show that you have some very special genetic abnormalities in your DNA. He's a mutant. It's extremely rare. Only one in Welcome back from Disney. Thank you, thank you. That's probably the last time I'm gonna go in a long time. I'm just so tired from going around there. Even though I didn't ride all the rides. Uh, your sub ended, oh no! One day, and it will be soon, you will fall ill to an incurable disease. And it will take your life. Yes, that disease is called death. The only way for you to survive is to receive gene therapy through genome editing here at this institute. So I started going to Horidori Institute. I think he tricked you, man. But it wasn't true. Yeah, he just wanted to do experiments on you. Not really. What do you mean? About that envelope. I stole it from the Institute. Found it on my doctor's desk. It said it was top secret, so I thought it must be super important. So, I grabbed it and put it in my pocket. Inside the envelope was pieces of paper with writing all over it. It was written in German, but I managed to figure out what it was saying by using a translation app. There actually wasn't anything wrong with my genes. It was all for the sake of research. Horidori Institute was rewriting my genetic code. That's messed up. They used me for human experiments. When I found out, I talked to Director Horidori. But he acted like he did nothing wrong. Because he's insane. Why are you upset with me? You should be grateful. And before she goes next month again. No, I can't. It's so expensive. And I'm so tired of walking around there. Your body is now special thanks to Gino Medicine. I just realized we don't have a laughing toast. Oh, <gasps> we don't? 
Also, I would advise against pulling out of the experience now. Your body is still in a transitionary stage. It needs regular testing and medication. If you stop now, all the cells We don't. We just have a, a blushy, dissolve. smiley one. Oh. What kind of genetic modifications? I don't know. The papers in the envelope. I never didn't pull have out. Any <laughs> and Director Horiori didn't tell me anything. Do you notice any changes in your body? <laughs> no, not really. It's the same as usual. You're going through puberty. Does your father know about this? I don't think so. I haven't told him. I didn't want him to worry about it. And Director Horidori threatened me not to. This should go without saying, but I want you to keep this a secret. Because what you're doing is crazy illegal. Don't tell the police, your family, anyone. If you do, I'll be forced to destroy all that... of the data and the medicine that you need. That's what he said. <laughs> you she. know what that would mean. Don't you? What the- where did the BATS 490 code really point? I decoded the message and went where it led me. To an underground floor of the Nice Japan building. They called it the Cathedral. The president, Miss Shigure, was waiting for me oh. there. Regal, thanks so much for the 30 month sub! She complimented me on decoding the message and invited me to That's almost three Nise. years. That's crazy. That's probably why BATS 490 was being spread in the first place. Tukiko did mention that. We have been seeking high IQ individuals with the capability to decode it. The purpose was to recruit them into Nyes. Miss Shigure told me all sorts of things about Nyes' ideals. And I was sick of the world at the time, so when they told me this world isn't real, I fell in love with Nyes' beliefs right away. We've known each other for a long time. Time flies. It really does. It just... It feels like I've only been streaming like two years, but it's been a long time. They told me to keep it all a secret. You cannot tell anyone about the secret of the world. The secret of the world, known by only a handful of people. I felt like I was special, just knowing I was one of the chosen few. That's how you get recruited into cults. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. Why did you lie about the secret message in Bats 490? I thought I just told you. No, that's not what I meant. You deliberately lied about it pointing to Horidori Institute. You could have chosen not to say anything at all. But if I didn't say anything, you would have taken me in, right? Then I'd get tortured and injected with the truth serum, and you'd force me to talk about the secret of the world. What? I lied because I didn't want that to happen. Is that what he thinks the police do? Well, he is still I mean, I still got the truth from you because I went inside your brain. Horidori Institute so... was the first place that popped into my head. I've been there lots, and I hated the director, Mr. Horidori, so I wanted to bug him a bit. But now he's dead. Hey, yo, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for telling me all this. You've known Smoothie and Kirby a long time ago. Yeah, you guys have been around for years. It's going to be a huge help for the investigation. No need to thank me. I owe you my life, Mr. Ryuki. And besides, I decided to be honest from now on. I see. I like the look on his face. Yeah. You know, you know I, actually I actually wanted to spell, to spell the, show the show part of your name with the kanji for laughter. It was going to be spelled with the character for laughter and shine, like a shining smile. Because I wanted you to stay smiling forever. You have a nice smile, Shoma. It fits your name perfectly. My name? Name. 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 Wait, I remember something. What is it? When I was being kidnapped by the researchers, I met Terror in the warehouse. What? I couldn't see their face because they had a metal mask on. 999. But I'm sure it was Terror. It's zero. They said... I am Terror. You've heard of me, haven't you? Whoa. Of course. That is my real name. I told you and only you, my true name. Would you like to hear? Yes. My name is... Dahlia. My name is what? My name is who? My name is Wicca Wicca Wicca. That's definitely zero, right? It's giving zero vibes. Man, I... 
want this to be kind of connected to 999 in some way, but I know it won't be because they're totally different like series. And probably different worlds too. By the time we got off of the Ferris wheel, it was already bright out. The sun was rising to the east. It shines brightly, diffusing through the white haze covering the city that had gathered in the cold night. Welcome back, Shoma. Dad. I'm home. And thank you. You risked your life to protect me, right? So... That's what parents do. Shoma, I'm so sorry. Until now, I've always been thinking about what's best for me. I always said I was doing things for you, but I was just being selfish. I've caused so much trouble at work and for you. Your mother and sister, too. Sister? Did I know he had a sister? But I'm done being selfish. I can't put you through any more pain. I'm going to quit comedy and get a normal, regular office job. Don't quit! What? I like your comedy, Dad. I like you as a comedian. Shoma. Ah, uh, window security, go away. Uh. I don't care if kids make fun of me at school anymore. Poppy toast, shiny toast. You did not at this point? Okay. Yeah, because I was like, I know his mom left. I didn't know he had a sister. I won't let them say you're uncool. You're trying to help people with your jokes, right? It's just like when you protected me. You put your heart and soul into it so you can make people laugh and make this world a happier place. And I think that's the coolest thing ever. So, so, I don't want you to quit being a comedian no matter what. Is that? Dad, you dropped this at the warehouse district, didn't you? That's where I picked it up. And when I went to the police earlier, I borrowed some tape and fixed it. Congratulations, Dad. <laughs> you won the best dad in the world championship. Aww. It's a landslide victory! <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't stand parents crying. You try so hard as a comedian, and it's kind of lame. But you're so cool at the same time. You drink too much, have nose hair sticking out, and wipe your face with hand towels. You. But you're my super dumb funny dad, and I'm proud to be your son. Boy, that's one spectacular prize. A landslide victory for me, huh? Thanks a bunch, Shoma. <laughs> but you know, get another job on the side that definitely brings in some money so you can provide for your child. By the way, Dad, there's one favor I want to ask. Take your head off. Energy, inti, inti, a chocolate <laughs> These jokes are not funny. I hate you, Dad. You never watched my ball game. There's no way a son would ever say this. I think they would. Or be funny. Yeah, or actually be funny to make money as a comedian. Yuki, you should get to the hospital soon. Yeah. The case isn't solved yet, either. Yeah, I know. But just a bit. I... I want to watch them a little bit Oh longer. yeah, I'm still bleeding from my arm. They have a lot of issues to work out, don't they? Yeah, but I'm sure they'll be fine. As long as they have smiles, their world will be saved. And money. You need money. Hey, Shoma. Uh, what did you think of that joke? It sucked. It was great. Dad, you really are 
the best comedian in the world! I can see Jelly's face being cringy toast. Ah, <laughs> smiley toast. Or being a B movie as a slapstick sidekick. Wait, that was it? For this route? Are you for real? I hate that you got that Minecraft cosmetic surgery, Dad. <laughs> Wait, I so I definitely could have just finished this route last stream? What? I can't skip this. Oh, I can! Komeji and Shomaru end. Because I love women! <laughs> there are many mysteries remaining. The truth of the HB case, Terror's Objective, the future of the main characters. In this game, story branches at the Somnia. From the flowchart, select the Somnium and a different route hidden in the dream world. Find a different route in the dream world. Okay. So... So I have to do this Somnium? But I need info, so should I just start from the top then? I kinda... I still don't know the killer's name, so I feel like I still have to do... This route. I have to do this Somnium. So sorry, you hurt your elbow? I hurt my- my elbow's getting a lot better. In real life. Thankfully. Remember to get up and stretch, and don't sit at your desk for too long. Thanks for the virtual hugs, Kirby! How have been things? Things have been good. Um, I've just been super tired. So I wanted to stream more last week, but I was just like, wow, I am exhausted. So I did not. Poor elbow. Thank you! Broken toast? No, I don't want to be broken. Let's lower my... Okay. Skip! We're looking for a different route, but how do we find a different route? Let's start. Okay, I don't have to inspect the gate. That I remember. But where is he? Shoot, where is he? <laughs> oh, he's on the stage. Okay. Uh, do I find a different route? He's got a good amount of fans. Uh, bring audience on stage. Let's get someone up here. Where is he in bed? Let's see you there. He's that tiny, you can't find him. Oh, you don't want to? Why not? You think I'm gonna make you participate in a lame skit? It's not lame, it's super funny. <laughs> That's right. Maybe we should let him perform one of his super mm. funny guests. I remember how to pick a different route in this Somnium now. I have to prioritize sure money instead of, um, you want to see it? Shoma. I've been having a rough time because my sis and friend both broke up with their BF in the last week. They've been crying to me. I love them, but damn, they all talk so Oh, man, I'm sorry you have to deal with that, dude. Wee. Oh, well, so let's shoot. Cue card. Uh... Super funny gag... quiz? Super funny gag. Cool. Man, breakups are hard. I wouldn't know because I never had one, but still, it seems like... It seems like it would be a lot. Ooh. He's the amateur. Autograph. Why did you come to Japan? Autograph. Okay. I'm like, this is why I've been single for two decades. <laughs> if you've been single for two, I've been single for three. Okay, what does Komeji want the most? That's what I need to find. Komeji became a cosine. Um. Donde esta? Hi. 
Hold Meiji next to balloons. They actually the last That's a good don't agree. Uh fly with balloons, buy balloons, inflate balloon. Fly with balloons will give me more eyeballs, but I feel like I had to buy a balloon to do the next thing, right? Ryuki, you have five minutes left. Nope, that was wrong. Uh, inflate balloon. No, wait, a decade. <laughs> but, like, the reason why breakups hurt so much, someone online, um, uh, put it in a really good way. It's okay. not just that, you just know, get some money ready and that you're losing a relationship, because it is a relationship with a person, and, you like, you spent so much time with them, you shared, like, experiences with them, but when you break up with someone, like, a secret, like, Things that were special just to you guys, like a special like language that you created, like special inside jokes, special moments, like special meanings you gave to different things, like songs or places or food or like whatever. Like you're essentially losing all that with someone and you can't really share that with anyone else. And that's why you're just like, oh, wow, my heart sucks right now. I'm like, oh, that's very eloquently put. I'm playing a game called Paradise Killer. That sounds very familiar. Those Yakuza guys I met at one of my shows. They said they had a good paying job for me. I guess I'll just have to take a chance on that. Okay, I chose money. Oh yeah, speaking of games, today was Nintendo Direct and um, State of Play. I didn't know they were both happening on the same day. And then Tokyo Game Show is this weekend. What I need to help Shoma is blank, blank, blank. Probably money, money, money. Even if I have to blank, whatever happens to me, blank. But yeah, the games I'm looking most forward to in um, from Nintendo, definitely Fatal Frame 4. I'm amazed that it's finally coming out. What do you think of AI? It's a little bit of everything, but I will say it's a little scary. Did you watch a direct? Yes, I did. Um, the last game they now. showed was Zelda, which a lot of my friends and coworkers were super excited for. Um, and that's coming out May, but I don't play Zelda, so wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. What else was in direct? It's a shooting game. I can't picture Komeiji Signed for this. Tunic. All I just... Oh, man. Because I know they're doing a Tales of Symphonia remaster, but I already played that. Uh, find someone good at games. Something funny. Try it. Um, let's do find someone good at games. What? I'm excited for Zelda to streams. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm not good at this. Hey there, you look like a shooter. Why don't you give it a shot? Let's see. What else was there in Nintendo Direct? This I remember being like, "Oh man, I'm this thing too," don't but worry, I can't remember it. Thank you. Ooh, I got caught up in the black market. And then in state of play. Um, there's that new Ryuga Gotoku game. There was like a lot of like, uh, Japanese themed oh, games no. like, ooh, we're in like medieval Japan. Andy's Komeiji was selling firearms? <laughs> huh? Komeiji is gone. And they looked cool. Oh, and there was also that one Korean what? game. When I heard Korean, I was like, what? He's over there. That's crazy. I thought it was going to be Magna Carta. Cause that seemed to be like, even if I have to break the law, woo. Cause yeah, it only seemed like the only Korean games that really made it to the US mainstream was on Ragnarok Online, which was an MMO, and um, Magna Carta, which was years ago. This expression is so dead. But it's called like Stella something? Toma, Stella Blade? Get in position to show Komeichi a cue card. It looks cute. Call out to people nearby. One more round. Jump off. Call out to people nearby? 
그 게임 같이 놀아. 같이 놀아? <laughs> Actually, I think I would... Hmm. I don't know if I would get super dizzy, because if it plays like a Tales of Symphonia, like Tales of game, I don't think I'll be that dizzy, but if it's open world, I might barf. So true. He's coming back over and over again. That's what she said. Why are you so excited about this? Hey everyone, Andy's Komeiji is talking. Give me some kind of reaction. <sighs> oh yeah, and That's then enough. um I'm getting off. God of War Ragnarok is coming out in November. Komeiji got off. Yeah, he got off. I wanted him to go around a little more. Hmm. So you that was minutes it. left, Ryuki. Focus. Ryuki. Uh, jump off one more round. One more round. What? Of course, Jelly would want him to come back again and again in bed. <laughs> what do you want me to say? If you quit now, your debt's only gonna get bigger. Why? I gave you all your money. You're nowhere Where's close. Where's your bow tie? Going round and round again, Komeiji. You're stuck doing laps for us just like this blade ride. Komeiji had a hard time getting away from these shady characters. I'm guessing he could only pay off the interest. Like student loans, but I'm <laughs> I forgot my bow tie. Hey, where is he going? What is this? I don't know. If I have this, this is my ticket out of here. This is victory. This is my gold medal. What did Komeiji find? I'm going after him. Okay, almost there. What I, yeah, money, money, money. Uh, but where did he go? He jumped off and then he went this way? Yeah, there he is. Hi, what is this? I met you with something. What? Is this? Take, inspect, play. They all take 198 seconds! Am I doomed to never pass this with one second? Gosh darn it. Ah! Damn it, play. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense because I know what it is. We can't put that on TV. I don't think it's getting on TV anyway. Uh, the censors will come for me. I'm going to get blacklisted from the industry. Was that wrong? Ooh. Yuki, we're out of time. No, we can't stop now. Komeiji must have a good reason for handling guns. Komeiji, what happened to you? Mother flipping! No, let me redo that. So it wasn't play. Retry. Retry, please. Hello? Okay. Let's do mental lock one. I need how do I save all the time? Cause if I choose all the options that have the time saving stuff, it wastes more time. Man. Man, this flippin' sucks. Well, I did- I guess I did do two wrong options before I went to the last thing. So maybe if I don't do those... How do you not waste time to question everyone wants answered? <laughs> okay, um, and then this was- he was... Where was he? Mother flippin', I'm wasting time already because I don't remember- Okay, he's by the balloons. And the, the thing was inflate balloon, because it has to pop. And then we have to go to that Ryuki, dude. You have five minutes left. See, it feels like I have so much time, but then I don't. Prepare the money. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, and then... 
This was- was this the gun range already? Yes, I think so. Yes. Four minutes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shoot. Uh, find someone good at games. Do, 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 do. Uh, caught up in the black market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right there. Oh, yeah. See, I messed up here. I went one more round. No, the option is one more round. Okay. You have three minutes left. And then focus. this, he was over there by what is? The, see, I'm still lacking twenty seconds. What the heck? This what? freaking sucks. Take it. If I take this with me. They'll have to pay me. There's no way they want this getting found, and it'll fit perfectly in my suitcase. <laughs> It's just sitting there, practically begging me to take it. If I take this, I can escape this life. This is my chance to finally get ahead. I can't go back now. What is it? I'm guessing we have to investigate his house again. I used to have so much time that I took do, said everyone when they get a full-time job. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing he was going to blackmail someone. But what could it be? Well... Found something important. Ten eyeballs gained. Eh, I didn't even find any extra eyeballs, and I didn't even make it with one second left. This sucks! <laughs> What do you think it is, Toast? I think it's... I think it's someone's head. Smiles for tears. Okay, so it's not Valentine's Day yet. Mr. Komeji, I've taken Getting a look ahead of mind. yourself there. Ha ha ha. You've been involved in gun trafficking, haven't you? There are other things I'd like to ask you about. May I have a minute of your time? Uh, what were you doing at the Hordadori Institute? Was that gun you had for trafficking? What's the connection between the gun trafficking and your debt? What did you find on the rooftop? What did you find on the rooftop? What are you doing at Hordadori? What's that gun you had for trafficking? Connection! Ah, uh, not talking, eh? Mr. Komeji, you're treading dangerous waters here. At this rate, Shoma could also be put in danger. Please, talk to me. For Shoma's sake. For real, I'm just trying to help you, man. Shoma, can you protect him? You want me to protect Shoma? As soon as I know he's safe, I'll tell you everything. I think you would like Paradise Killer as an investigation game like these. Ooh, -hoo. let me look it up then. Paradise Killer. Are you okay? Whoa! Very colorful looking. Oh man, it's only on Steam. Oh no, it's on Switch, PlayStation Four, and Xbox One. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. I'll put him on the line. I still have to fin like play Voice of Cards too. Gosh darn. Yeah. Soma, are you okay? No! Cops came and put me in the car, and now they're driving me to the station! I see. What did you do, Dad? The police are after you now? I knew you were dumb, but not that dumb. <sighs> I'm sorry. Shoma, I'll have to fill you in later. I need to talk to your dad for now. Uh, okay. But... Alright, Ryuki. I'll leave the rest to you. Now, please continue, Komeji. Or do you prefer Mr. Enda? Do I have to ask you all the questions again? Uh, why did you have that gun? Uh, about what you said earlier. I was involved with gangs and their gun trafficking operations. That's where I stole the gun I had. I was knee-deep in some dangerous business and... 
I thought I needed a way to protect myself. About your debt. Yes, I I've racked up a huge amount of debt. I've been getting hounded by collectors. Eventually, they started threatening me with this. Listen, Andy Skomeji, you're their little boys in elementary school, isn't he? If you don't pay the money you owe in one month, we're taking him and selling him overseas. Oh my gosh. Am I clear? I couldn't talk to the police. You're right. Gangsters selling guns and I was an accomplice? It was all for money, but... I've always wanted to cut ties with that lot, but I couldn't do it. I had no other way to pay back the money I owed. The money I make as a comedian is just a drop in the bucket. What were you doing at the Horadori Institute? Well, the thing on the rooftop of Misaton. You know about it, don't you? Yes. You walked away with it in your suitcase. It was so you could blackmail someone. That's right. Is this related to Horadori Institute somehow? Mr. Ryuki, uh, please take a look at this. Is it not a head? Is it like one of those smoke thingies that was in the cathedral? Like, come to Horadori Institute of Genetics. If you give it back, you'll be rewarded. A message. Look at the sender. Yeah, a message from terror. Komeji, what's going on here? Why do you have a Nile message from a serial killer? That thing I found belonged to Terror. That's what he was talking about in the message. Are you saying you tried to blackmail Terror? I guess so. Anyway, that's why I went to Horidori Institute. The entrance was already open by the time I got there. But there was no one inside, as you know. I had no choice but to wait there. And then you showed up. But no one else was in there, right? What is the it in the Nile message? Do you still intend to hide things from me? <sighs> Mr. Komeji, I'll ask you one more time. What is this thing that's so important to Terror? Fine. What I'll is ask it? Ask a different question. Where is she? Where is it now? Dude, I will, will you slap bring you. Me with you. No. If you do, I'll tell you. Where do you think I'm going? Gosh, so annoying. Just tell me what I need to know. Why do you have to come with me? Okay, we're back at his house. Mr. Komeji, isn't this... Yes, it's my home. This makes so much sense that it's actually confusing. Yeah, it's kind of anticlimactic. Why does it make sense? So, where can I find it? Yo! Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna knock uh, me must... out! He's gonna ditch me here! I must be getting old. I'm having trouble remembering. Mr. Komeji, You're lying. Please. You can't tell me that after bringing me all the way here. I know, but what am I supposed to do if I can't remember? We have no choice, Ryuki. Let's just start looking around. Or we threaten him. Shoma's robot, this isn't what I'm looking for. X-ray. There are only futons inside. I doubt Terror had an interest in this. X-ray. Nothing really stands out. No, oh, he's gonna knock me out! Nothing here, huh? There's something like seaweed on the ground, though. I don't think that's relevant right now. Seaweed? Uh-oh. Afterward, we checked the room from end to end. But we didn't find anything that might be what we're looking for. Unless he already gave it away. Mr. Komeji. Are you really sure it's here? Yes, it should be. How strange. Where could it have gone? Ryuki, look at this. Yeah, he's so. lying. What is he thinking? It was obvious from the very beginning. I've had enough of this. If you're going to keep lying to me... It's too late now. Huh? Why are you all here? 
Rocky, you left Shoma at Abyss HQ, didn't you? How awful of you to leave him all by himself. Miss Iris, Miss Mame, and I were having dinner. Oh um, my, what are you guys doing? Then I got a Nile message from Shoma. That's when we found out about the questioning. We also found out Shoma was in police custody. But why would you take him out? This is bad. It's a super mega big deal. That's what we all were thinking, so we had it over. But he was done being questioned by the time we arrived. That is why we decided to bring him here. They all know Shoma? Seems so. Shoma and Mizuki go to the same elementary school. Oh my so gosh. that's probably how they're all connected. Oh my gosh. Give it up already, Dad. I already hated you for being unfunny, pathetic, and unpopular. And now you're a criminal too? Did the police tell you that? Yeah, they told me everything. But it, it was all for you. Stop making excuses. You did all that bad stuff, and you're still trying to fight back, lie, and trick your way out of it. I'm sick of it. Shoma. Dad. Dad. You should just die already. Whoa. <gasps> okay, don't say things like that. But what are you three thinking? You're not his legal guardian. You don't bring him out of police custody. Iris, you're still what? so infuriating. What is it? Come to Devita alone. Big mistake. Oops, I'll give you one more chance. Whoops. This could be an opportunity, Ryuki. If we go to Devita, maybe we can catch terror. Mr. Komeiji, we'll put our search aside for now. I'm going to Devita alone. I can't bring you along on a hunt for a dangerous criminal. No, you can't. Terror will run if you show up. I need to get his guard down first. You should hide somewhere. And once he shows up, you appear. Are you sure? Yes. I'll be the bait. This is the least I can do after what I've done. No, it's a trap. It's a trap. They're going to lure me in and be like, ha ha ha, I brought you what I promised. And then they're going to knock me out. Mother flippin'. Let's go, Didia. I'll get Lucy from Peanuts Shell deal with this blockhead. <laughs> Damn, I thought he loves his Minecraft dad. Not in this route, he does not. Komeji went into the studio alone. Before he did, he started a video call on his smartphone. I hid out of sight, watching the video and waiting for something to happen. But no matter how long I waited, it didn't seem like Terror would show up. I eventually ran out of patience and walked into the studio. And it's going to be a bad end for me. <laughs> oh, it's this video again. Creepy. Oh no, am I going to like mind blank again? Uh, uh, uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> also, you watched that video before. Why would you keep looking at it? Ryuki, are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? <sighs> they're gonna lure you in, then they're gonna give you a kiss. What? I require a kiss happened? for entry. <laughs> Again, why are all of you here? Leave me alone! Oh good, you're okay. I don't think I'm injured. Why are you here? <gasps> Wait, where's... where's Eyeball? We will explain later. First, can you tell us what happened here? My eye isn't red. I don't know. I started seeing things. Then I lost consciousness. Oh, there it is. My eye's red again. Whew. I managed to come back. Tama. After you lost consciousness, you were attacked from behind. A high voltage current was delivered to your back, and I was short circuited. I wasn't able to use any of my functions. But, as you can see, I was able to bring myself back online thanks to my self repair program. Did Terra do this? I don't know. I didn't see the attacker. I don't know anything after you lost control of your bladder. Ah. Uh. You mean lost consciousness? Yeah, whatever. So. 
Where is Komeji? I don't see him here. Dun dun dun. Oh no, is he dead? been dead for a while. Why did you guys come here? Why would you bring Shoma here? You stupid girls! Do you like insects? No! Dislike! Blocked. <laughs> I became a childy. Whoa, already? Damame. Okay, cool. I don't think I have Amame. Yeah, I just got Amame. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. Gross. Disgusting. It's Corpse. The right half of Kameji's body. Only the right half. I think it's safe to say terror is the culprit. Ryuki, let's talk to everyone before checking the body. No. Screw everyone else. I want to check the body. Shoma. Wink sink. I can't wink sink now. Not enough battery. Gosh darn it. Shoma. Are you okay? Of course he's not okay. Komeji was his father. Gotta check on his condition! Shoma. What can you even say in a situation like this? How could this have happened? Did you see anyone? Okay. Stupid girls. Kizuna. Did you see anyone? By anyone, do you mean the culprit? Just anyone! Well, anyone at all. Like, any suspicious figures, maybe? No. We did not see a single soul. I see. Are you the ones that helped me? That is a bit of an exaggeration. We simply untied the rope that bound you. Rope? <sighs> Must be that one over there. I was tied up with that? Yeah. Your hands and feet were tied really tight. When we arrived, we found you on the ground in that state. So, Kizzy and I untied the rope. How did you get here? Um, well... Ah, there you are! <laughs> Creepy driver. Here you are, the receipt for your card payment. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Why are you still here? Who are you? Hmm? What? Oh, I am but a humble taxi driver. Why do your teeth move when you talk? I forgot to hand you the receipt earlier. So you drove these four here? Indeed, that is correct. I was always quite bad with machines, you see. I let others handle the TV, the music, and other such things. Oh, one time I wanted to listen to a CD, but I didn't know how to open the CD player, so I smashed it with my fist. Oh, uh, this guy's creepy. Minecraft dad split in half. Why would you bring Shoma here? Why? Ooh, eyeball. Okay. Remember him, Jelly. Why are you I don't think I this? can forget him. That is just how terrible with machines I am. That is why I could not handle the card payment as smoothly as I would have liked. Are you a robot? And while I was fumbling my way through the payment... He said that the girl with the blue hair in the passenger seat ran out. So it was... Mommy did? So she got out of the car first. Naturally, I was quite flustered by this rowdy display. And so I continued to fumble for three, four, no, perhaps even five minutes or so. I somehow managed to process the payment, but I was still quite bothered. I returned the credit card, but in my haste, I completely forgot to hand over the receipt. I can't look at your face, you're so creepy. What were the other three in the back seat doing during all that? They were waiting the entire time. The card was Kizzy's, but she was sitting on the far left seat, so Shoma and I didn't get out. So, Amame, why did you run out first? Well, now that that's settled, I will be off. 
Um, if you'll excuse me. Amame, you're being very suspicious right now. But let's talk to Iris first. Are you okay? I guess so. I don't really care how you are, but I just gotta ask you that. Why are you here? I figured that something was up with you guys at Shoma's house earlier. I heard you were talking about terror and going to divide us. Then why would you come here? So I got worried and came over. Stupid girl. Oh, but we did not come here right away. We first discussed whether we should track you down. No, you shouldn't. You're freaking civilians. I think it was about two and a half hours after you left that we decided. We thought we should just come straight here and... It's 11.30 p.m. now, by the way. Do you not remember what happened to you with the eyeball killings? Like, you stupid girl. I'm a man. Are you okay? She seems very shook up. We should let her be for now. I gotta talk to her. Mama. Mama already saw Komeji's corpse. You must be in shock. She's in no state to talk. Did you see anyone? I see. No one saw anything. It will haunt my nightmares. This girl's hair reminds me of Rin. Which Rin? Rin from where? Okay, now can I examine the corpse? Komeji's right half in the bag. Freaking! Mame went into the studio by herself? Y yes Kizzy, Shoma, and I went into the studio together. Catherine! Ah, oh, yeah, because of the, the curly pigtails. Mm -hmm. I still have to finish getting all of the endings for um full body. I need to um, platinum that game, too. I need to platinum that and near replicant. Gosh. What is it, Ryuki? Does something I love full body? Like yeah, full body's good. No, it's nothing. You get the classic puzzle configuration, you get the new puzzle configuration, you get like... You get one whole level more extra level of puzzles. It's great. Did you see anyone? No. I didn't see anyone until we got inside the studio. Tama, have you contacted Abyss and HQ? Way ahead of you. The investigation team should arrive soon. I've also arranged for a counselor. All four of them are in a really bad mental state. Uh, Amame is the most suspicious. Sh Shoma? Are you okay? Uh, uh... Okay, don't Shoma, run off, kid. Wait! Don't just stand there, Ryuki! Go after him! R right. Why would you let him run away when there might possibly be a killer still in the building? Like, are you crazy? But the girls are even more stupid. Why would you bring Shoma here? Why would they all come here? You stupid... <sighs> You get to play as Joker in difficult uh, modes. Oh yeah, you get to play as Joker in um Tower in Babylon. Tower of Babel. Fan theory: Joker gets sent to the nightmare puzzles because he's too scared to pop the question to Sumire. <laughs> yes, or he's been going out with every single um, female social link, and now the world of Catherine's like, hmm, we can't have you do that. By the time I ran out of the studio, Shoma was already gone. The other three must have decided to split up because they scattered in different directions. I thought it would be better to search in a wider area and got in my car, but... I don't see him anywhere. No response on his phone, and his GPS is off. Where did you go, Shoma? We have to find him after he stormed out like that. Who knows what he'll do in this state. <sighs> Calm down, Ryuki. Think about where Shoma might go. Aaron Run is canon. Where he Not to go. me. I got it. Makoto only. Shoma must be there. Jelly a player. Only in games, not in real life. <laughs> she wants all the Eric's and Akihikos. Give me all the Akihikos, please. I will not complain. It's not like P3 where Minato doesn't know how to say no to the girls. <laughs> oh, the Ferris sure. wheel is still running. <sighs> it's 
Just wait for him to come back. Well, no big deal. It's a Ferris wheel. He'll come back down if we just wait. Jelly a huge player. What? No, I'm not. <sighs> oh no. Is someone gonna come up from behind me? She asked me out on a date and I said no. What? <laughs> Chihiro for life in Persona 3 for me? Technically you're a player, you're playing a game right now. Ha 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 bum In Persona 3, who was my favorite girl? Well known, Dookie. Um Let's see. If I was playing Boys Root, who's my favorite girl? Anyway, this is all a load of bull. Today is Valentine's Day. What? It's past midnight, so it's February 14th now. Shihiro Mitsuru Fuka. Oh. Annoying girl, pink girl, Yukari. But I don't really care I about guess. that right now. How can you not care? Hermit online. More importantly, Shoma was Little on the girl, number 2 car, hanged right? man. Why do you ask? Because Yes, he definitely hmm. went in number 2. I don't two. really care about any of the girls. In uh, well, I guess, I guess I guess I would so. be my favorite. If that's the case, he should be back soon. In the girls' route, my favorite girl is um Leo, the chariot. Oh, she's so freaking cute. Ugh. What? No. How? Unpopular opinion. I don't like Mitsuru. I like Yukari better. I don't like you, Kari. Ooh. Even the Japanese game team that developed the game was just like, How? man, you Kari's annoying. We checked every one of the cars, but I don't see Shoma anywhere. Uh oh. We are living in a false world created by a program. Where's Shoma? <laughs> Therefore, where is he? If we rewrite its code, we can create miracles. It can't be. Impossible. It can't be. It can't be. I know Shoma went on that car. I saw it with my own eyes. Did you open the doors? And yet. Whoa. H hold on. Oh no, he's bugging out. Oh, don't tell me it's happening again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wonder if this game got inspired by Doki Doki Literature Club with that like crazy text and just a blah 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 blah. Same with Ken, they had to backpedal a lot with his character. Oh man, I felt so sorry for Ken. A lot of people found him annoying, but I was just like, no, he's just a kid. He watched his mom die in front of him. He has no one left. How would Dama, you feel in that you situation? Know about this place? I heard about it from Mr. Date. This shrine worships a fruit called the fruit of immortality. If you eat it, you will gain eternal youth and life. Oh man, I still have crazy eyes. Hey Ryuki, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're not well. Mentally, I mean. You haven't been for a long time now, and I think it's getting worse. You should really see somebody. I'm fine. Coming to the shrine has calmed me down. Coming here doesn't solve anything! Praying to a god or Buddha isn't going to heal your heart! Please, Ryuki. Okay then. You want me to go to the hospital? Before I do, let me ask for one thing. Can you replay the scene from Studio Devita right now? Ryuki. I want to solve the HP case, no matter what. Glitchy toast. If this game has you go into the game files and delete characters, then I'd say yes. Haha. <laughs> you can just get a new mom. No, oh my I gosh, Regal. It. That's terrible. For Komeji. Especially now that he's. Oh, she surely. 
Same thing with Hope in Final Fantasy XIII. Fine. People were like, do it. oh my gosh, he's so annoying. But I'm never going to use him in battle. And I'm just really like, he saw his mom die yes. in front of I'll his eyes. Checked out. Promise, okay? Yeah, I promise. Now, close your eyes. Let's do the this. The most annoying character for me from Final Fantasy XIII was um Snow. I hate him. He's stupid. So, what did you want to investigate here? Something's been bothering me. What was behind that wall? You see that camera on the tripod that's And also over? that camera fell over. When we got here... It wasn't like that. Why did it fall over? Could it have been terror? But why? I don't understand why, but it could only have been him. No, that's not true. There's another person that could have tipped it over. Amame. When we regained consciousness, there were four people here. I did like Snow and Hope. <laughs> Iris, I'm sorry, Kizuna, I don't Mame, like Snow. Shoma. The first one to go into the studio was... The only reason why I used him Mame. was for the, um, the Lacy trials. Because he was the strongest sentinel. Are you suggesting a mommy tipped over the camera? It's entirely possible. But why would she do that? That's what I'm going to figure out. Virtual reality activation. really isn't standing up. Yeah. Could it be the alcohol's fault? It happens all the time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Camera tripod is tipped over. What's the estimated time of death? Roughly an hour and a half ago. Based on the time the body was discovered, of course. So roughly 10 p.m., February 13th. We woke up here around 11.30 p.m. That's my time of death. Okay. Um, can I do different views? Thermo and normal. Okay, so let's do thermo. Can we find? Aha! Hot water. The floor is wetter than my. Oh my gosh! Please don't even say it. Would you prefer the word moist? The word moist doesn't really bother me. I think there was hot water in the kettle. It must have been in keep warm mode. That must have fell. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it feels gross and blue, but I'm like. It's totally fine. Who cares? Moist. The prints from the water. Seeing that it's still warm, the prints couldn't be more than a few minutes old by the time this data was gathered. So right before we regained consciousness? Yeah. Can you tell me whose prints they are? Judging from the shape and size, absolutely Amame's. The prints lead to the door over there. The door on the west side. Okay. We do normal. What's the, the door? door on the west side of the building is locked. I don't think we can open it from this side. Are there any other exits? The only other door is the door to the east, the one we entered from. So, east and west. Just the two exits. Moisty toasts, jelly moisture. I agree, he was dumb, but hope hating him, but being paired with him. Oh, yeah, they're just like, you guys have to understand each other. One to the east, one to the west, and one to the west is locked, and yet Amame's footprints are headed there. What? Whoa, people! Oh, mannequins? Mannequin behind the set? Was this used for some broadcast? I don't think there's anything else I can see in thermal mode. Oh. There are objects other than the camera tipped over. Well, let's, let's examine the rope. It's the rope that had you in the tortoise shell bondage position. Tortoise shell? No, that's not true. Oh? Is it a crab tie? No. No crabs, no tortoises, no shrimp, nothing. Anyway, look at the rope. There's a fake nail. It matches what Amame had on. So did she get me out of the rope, or did she put me in the rope? Okay, hot water, electric kettle. The kettle is on the floor. Must have fallen off the table. I wonder how it fell. Someone did a pile driver on it. Either that or it was bumped or something. Okay, was that everything to investigate? Seems like it. Boop, 
Okay, it looks like we're pretty much done investigating here. I think I can make one conclusion. Oh? Care to share what that is? First, think about what Mame did when she first entered the studio. I have normalized again. Where did Amame go first? Oh, she probably headed towards the west door to see if it was locked. So first, she came to me. Judging from the trail, I think she came to me first. She couldn't have come to me after stepping in the warm water, because if she did, it would have left Prince. Okay. So that's when a bit of her nail broke and stuck to the rope. But then, something happened that stopped her. Something? I'll tell you later. Anyway, she stopped trying to untie me. Where did she go from there? Okay. Tama's not making me do the ridiculous acting! Here. Mame must have been in a hurry. She tipped over the camera by accident. And then what? Where did Amame go next? Can I move? Oh, eyeball. No! Eyeball! Menu. Eyeball -y. How should I call on a UFO? Dance. Look at the sky. Nile. Meditate. Dance! Oh man, why is that loving? Gosh darn it. Aliens like dancing. You can tell by looking at Iris. Because Iris is insane. She came here next. Mommy ran into the table, which caused the kettle to fall. And the hot water spilled on the floor. And then? And then she headed for the west door. Well, if we trace her footprints, they stopped right in front of the western door. But the door was locked and it didn't open, so she couldn't get out. And then... And then the others came in. Tama, do you have any ideas why Mame stopped trying to untie me? Mm-hmm. I sure do. But continue. I want to hear what you're thinking. Okay, here's my answer. It's simple, actually. I think Mame saw Terror enter the studio. Hmm? While she was untying me, Terror came across the scene. They ran over to her to try to take her out. That's why the body was left in such an unnatural position. What do you mean unnatural? That's what all the other. I see. We're on the same page. Like. There are still some question marks, but well, putting that thread aside for now. Shall we get started? Start what? Filming, duh. Again? You got a problem? Yes. <laughs> so, are you ready? No. Okay, here we go. I said no. Ready? Action! I'm going to cast you as a mame. Recreate Jelly, what on earth are you filming in your room? Privately. What? <laughs> Let's start with when she first ran into the studio. Her first move was... I already acted all this out. Why am I acting this again? Ah! Oh no! Mr. Ryuki is tied up! <laughs> You're a really shitty actor. Well, what did you expect? Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Mr. Ryuki! Snap out of it! This is when her nail fell <laughs> off. Mame tried to untie the rope and... That's when Terra ran into her. Down says, Why am I watching this? Five seconds later, crap. Since Terra is blocking the east Cause that voice was funny! That way. So she tried to run to the other door. Okay, let's see your best performance! God. Why do you make me do this? Okay, go on, run away. <laughs> and then run into the camera. Then run into the table, and that drops the kettle, and <laughs> Wow, she can't run. She discovers the west door is completely locked. At least she tried to run away. Smart girl. 
Oh. Cut. You were doing so well. Was that not it? Anyway, she was cornered and... Huh. What happened after that? This is what I was trying to get at earlier. And one more thing. When you asked Amame if she saw the culprit, she shook her head. Why did she lie? Because she is hey, in cahoots! Tom, you collected all the data in this studio, right? You either love how silly D's are, or you hate it, but Ryuki clearly does too, so you can empathize. I'm paired with an AI, please be without emotion. <laughs> Including X-Ray? <laughs> yeah. In that case... Wait! I didn't have X-Ray vision here, I only have thermal and normal. Okay, I have X-Ray now. Whoa! <gasps> I think so. So when we regained consciousness, they were in the studio? That must be the case. Wait, you didn't notice, Tama? I thought you had x-ray vision. I thought it was part of the set. Anyway, they have a gun? Yeah, a 50 caliber automatic handgun. That could do some real damage. This so creepy. So she... <laughs> She didn't this see. This next bit is just speculation, mm. but I think she's lying. Terror headed to the western door and cornered Mame, but then must have heard footsteps coming from the other door. Iris, Kizuna, and Shoma. Of course, Terror probably had no idea who they were. Terror must have said something like, "Don't tell them I'm here. If you do, I'll shoot you." Then they hid in the set, since their only escape route was cut off. That's why Amame lied. She couldn't have said anything with Terry threatening her. Probably. Hmm. Okay. Gaspy toast. <laughs> Cause it's creepy! That explains why she was so frightened too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to the oh, others. Terra was right there, but we couldn't get them. There was nothing we could have done. Shoma was the top priority. Anyway, there's only one thing we need to do. Let's find Mame. Now that we she know the truth. She saw in person. She's a key witness now. Maybe she has some information. Something about terror we don't know. Maybe a voice or how they walk. Hey, Tama. Where is Mame? I don't know. Her smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. I asked Tama to call Kizuna, Iris, and Gen to ask if they knew where Mame was. None of them picked up. Lovely. Hold on a second. What about your promise? Fine, I'll get checked. And I want to talk to Shoma. He's at home now, right? At least that's what Tama said before I came to the shrine. I have no idea how Shoma was able to get out of the Ferris wheel. I don't know if it's related to all this, but I have a strong desire to find out. So we have three objectives. Finding Amame, getting checked up at the hospital, and meeting with Shoma, right? Yeah. Fine, I'll tag along. Not to mention today is special for partners. Valentine's Day. What do you mean? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Anyway, let's get going. Do you want something from me, Tama? Map. Uh, let's go to the hospital first. That explains why she was so even more so. I still think she's suspicious. I don't trust the girls. Why would you come to a potential dangerous site? You dumb girls. Ooh, I'm tripping balls. She wants the D. <laughs> I'm glad we had an open room for you. It's quiet here. You should be able to relax and focus on your treatment. Treatment? Oh, you don't have to worry about the paperwork for your stay here. We'll handle everything. Uh, hold on. My stay here? What are you talking about? Did I get a bad ending? Hmm? 
You don't remember? Remember what? Hmm, this is troubling. Huh? Wink sink. Doctor, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be doing this at the hospital. Put your ball away. No playing Kusimon Go in the hospital. Ha, Pokemon Go. Ha 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 ha. Stay in the hospital? Mr. Ryuki, do you remember getting a checkup? I'm sure the doctor would have told you everything. No, I have no idea. I see. Then I'm afraid I'll have to be the bearer of bad news. Mr. Ryuki, you have what we call cognitive dysfunction. Sometimes you'll forget what time it is or where you are, even lose track of the people around you. It's all part of your condition. In addition to that, we believe that you have a short-term memory disorder. Oh my gosh, is this Memento? Tama, is this true? Yes, it is. This is difficult for me to say, but your condition is very serious. We need to begin treatment immediately. Uh... Um, I'm going to get the files. I'll be right back, so please wait here. Excuse me. But I didn't do other two talking options. Excuse me. Okay, I went to the hospital like I promised. Now let's get going, Tama. What are you talking about? That nurse told you that you need to stay here. I don't have time for that. I need to solve this case. Trippy Toast Jelly really likes these. <laughs> these nuts! Just three more days. I refuse. Fine, just one day. 24 hours is all I ask. Please let me do this. I'll give you some chocolate later. Are you joking? You know I can't eat chocolate. No, I mean like emotional chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what is emotional chocolate? Ah, fine. But you're only getting 24 hours. Not a second longer. Thanks, Tama. <sighs> Map? Map. Uh, marble. Oh yeah, cause now I'm looking for uh, mame. But why would mama be at marble? Whoops. Oh wait, yeah, cause she knows mama. No one's here. Welcome. We aren't open yet, though. I've got something for you, Ryuki. What? <gasps> a present? It's Chocolate! Hard, and it'll leave a mess all over your hands. I know exactly what Mom is talking about. It's chocolate. That's what I was going to say. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I wanted all my customers to get some. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, the chocolate's gone. Oh, no, wait, it's here. Inside the box is something hard. Play with it too much and you'll be left with a mess on your hands. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Wink sink. Oh, you want to know why there are two balls? This way I have a spare if one stops working. Okay. Just take a bite and go. Oh, mmm, so good. Mama, say thanks for the chocolate. Thanks for the chocolate. I appreciate it. I have manners. I know how to say thank you. Don't thank me, honey. Just don't forget to get me something on white day. What do you want? Um, well, you can return the favor. Meaning? Something hard that will leave a mess all over my hands. A turtle. Ah, uh, do you know where Mama is? I don't follow. Did she get into trouble? She may have come into contact with terror. She might have valuable information. Well, okay then. Let's ask the big milky balls. 
Could you call them something else? Oh, mighty balls. Who has the softest, <laughs> bounciest Bally skin toast. in Handy all toast. land? That is Mama, of course. That's right. Oh, <laughs> you know it. Who gives a shit? I agree. <clears throat> now, serious mode this time. Oh, balls, the great and powerful. Please find someone for me. Her name is Amame Doi. Where is she right now? You should go to the Nye's Japan branch. You should gain some valuable information there. It still freaks me out. Ooh. How was it? Thanks, that was helpful. The Nye's Japan branch. Are you going to take her seriously? Yes. Not necessarily. But it won't hurt to check, right? How about any information on the HB case? Hmm... Information, huh? Oh! I saw something online. There's this creepy video going I'm not around. sleeping tonight. You know Minecraft, it? anyone? <laughs> Are you talking about the Nirvana trial? No, not that one. There's another one. It was released at midnight. It's called Nirvana X. X? That's right. Ryuki, I looked it up. Once again, the original uploader is anonymous. It's just like that QR video. And I'm gonna flip out I again when I watch it. something to do with the HB case. Mama, did you watch the video? Yeah. I have it saved on my smartphone. Wanna see? No, Ryuki. Don't do it. Something bad might happen again. The VQ videos that have been released so far have not included anything that would induce a subliminal effect, but that doesn't mean they're safe. There is a possibility that there was a special production technique that only works on people like Yuki who have suffered some kind of trauma. The subliminal effect is a phenomenon in which a stimulus is given below the threshold of human perception, causing unconscious desires and emotions to arise in the person. Cool. Watch Nirvana Mama, X. Please. Ryuki! Okay then. I'm going to stream it on the screen over there. It's probably better to watch it on a bigger screen. Okay, here we go. Okay. Clickety click. Ew. Ew. Two one five one two zero zero C C F G G D A E I G H A H E. Hmm. What did I tell you? I warned you. Oh no. Uh huh. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Don't scare me like that. About Nirvana X. Judging by the name, it's gotta have something to do with the Nirvana initiative. The incidents at Shinjuku might be related too. What incidents? Well, one example is what happened with that rocket. Luckily, there weren't any casualties. Anyway, I think that was like a test run for the initiative. But we don't know anything for sure. Where the actual show will happen, who's behind it and why, we don't know any of the details. We do have a clue as to when, though. Hmm? The Nirvana X video. There were two codes on there. One of them was 2151200. February 15th at 12 o'clock? I think it's a date and a time. February 15th, 12 p.m. Cool. I'm a genius. Yeah. Noon tomorrow. The date and time when the Nirvana Initiative will begin. There's not much time. What about the letters? I'm not sure about that one. A -A -I -G -A -A -G. The numbers represented oh. a time and date, so I'm guessing those were for a location. A location? Hmm. We have a lot to think about now. Let's get a move on. Bye, Mama. Thanks for the info. 
Uh, nice. Wait, isn't it eyeball time? Shoot. Hello, detective. It was two days ago that Tokiko's body was found here. The investigation is still ongoing. So, what are you planning on doing here? Mame wouldn't be here. I didn't come here expecting to find Mame. You should go to the Nice Japan branch. You should gain some valuable information there. What valuable information could be here? I don't know, but let's look around. Before anything... Eyeball! Oh, it's not eyeball time yet? 41 seconds, okay. Almost eyeball time. Mm, window... Waterfall? There's a waterfall. I can't use any other modes of sight right now. Evidence marker... Nice symbol... Statue... Police officer. Wink sink. Ah, uh, strong point. Honesty and integrity. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but my real strong point is loyalty. That was useless? Cool. What fish do you like? Tuna, hair tail, fugu, salmon! Salmon, ikura, insemination. What? Don't be for pervert, please? What? It makes no sense. Okay. Um, detective. Anything regarding Mame? Who? This girl. No. I don't know where she is. I see. Hmm? You talking about the underground cathedral? The image of Amame that appeared on... Okay, whatever. It's a hologram. It's off limits right now. There's concerns that it might collapse. So you don't know about the box? The box? There was a box there with What's a strange-looking the device. Tama, can you show the image? Sorry, I don't have it. What? Ryuki, when you went to the cathedral, you fell off the bridge, remember? The impact caused me to lose some of my memory. I was only able to recover up to finding Tokiko's body in the president's office. No backups? How convenient. Because it was so deep underground. For the killer. There was no signal down there. Come to think of it, there were some network problems. Exactly. So I couldn't upload the data to the cloud. Damn. You couldn't upload it anyway because the cloud isn't working. Any clues in the, in the president's office? It's not a lead or anything, but it is interesting. What is? It's gonna take some time to prepare. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Cool. About Mame. Do you know this girl? Her name is Amame Doi. Oh, I know her. She's a mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. That's true, but how do you know that? Oh, um, well, I've been there a few times. Whoa! Look, on the left side, it's zero space next to the sign for, um, Sunfish Pocket. Should carry a flash drive with you. For real. I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. That's a tough sell. Do you know where she is now? Uh, no, I wouldn't know. I can tell you that she isn't working right now, though. I heard from another girl that she hasn't been feeling well recently. Right. It's unlikely that she'd be at Sunfish Pocket. Mame saw terror at the studio. And right after that, she saw Komeji's body. Oh, that looks so gross. It's unlikely she'd be at work with all that going on. Where's Tokiko's body? The body is long gone from the autopsy. It really is a shame. She was killed right before her birthday. Tokiko's birthday is February 15th. There was a huge party planned for her here. At 12 o'clock. It really is such a shame. Ryuki, I'm ready. No, I wanted to ask him his name. No, damn it. That's what I mentioned to you earlier. 
Oh, please go ahead. Look at that pond over there. Whoa. Is that? It's Tokiko's hologram. Her laptop was in the desk. There was a program running. This. I think it's some software aimed at these cultists. Needless to say, it's just an image. So she can't really interact with you. But she does talk. Lectures, even. If you give her a topic, she'll give some pre-recorded response. You can choose from four. Moksha, game. Form is emptiness and the allegory of the cave. There's other data in there, too, somewhere, but it'll take time to get at. Hmm. Okay. Inspector, ask his name. So that's how it's gonna be. Well, I suppose it's not that bad. Is this getting a little too scripted? If it's what the people want. Anyway, my name is... Kagami! That's my line! <laughs> ask his name. Huh? Did you forget already? <sighs> Fine. My name is Kagami. Ask his name. Ka. K-A. Ga. G-A. Me. M. I. Ask his name. I already know his name. I don't think I need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I probably don't need to ask. His name is, uh, what was it again? Very well. Mr. Ryuki, you can give me a nickname. That way, you won't forget. A nickname, huh? Something easy to remember would be good, right? Exactly. How about Kagami? That's an easy nickname to remember. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> An inspector is checking something. Kagami. Game. This world is a simulation. Thus, its creator must have created with intention. Who is he again? Oh, have you checked his bio? Yes, I did. This intention we can never know for certain. But we can surmise, and we can estimate. Imagine you attempt an action, but that action is prevented by something incomprehensible to you. It is reasonable to assume that action was something not considered by the creator. Contrarily, if you attempt an action and feel yourself compelled by some otherworldly force, it is probably something the creator did expect. Like rats trapped in a maze. Go in the wrong direction and receive a shock. Go in the right direction and receive a prize. This is the easiest maze ever. What the heck? Considering this, perhaps this simulation is actually a game. A game about escaping this inscrutable maze. Can you win this game? You're just crazy, the lady. The creator probably wants you to. Ooh, getting meta. Ooh. It has a reference to his VA from the first game? I don't remember a mention about his VA. Hmm. Moksha. Moksha, or enlightenment. One is only truly free when free from all desires. But this state of mind is not something that can be easily defined or described in words. It is implicit knowledge. It is not something you can understand without experiencing it for yourself. Imagine, for example, someone who has never seen the color red. It is impossible to explain to that person what the color red is. You can't truly understand the redness of the color red until you experience it. Moksha is similar in this way. So how can you reach Moksha? Among Hindu followers are those known as the Sadhu. They follow a strict spiritual path of penance in an attempt to reach Moksha. For example, one may stand on just one leg for decades or try to roll across the entire Indo-Chinese continent. One may live on a bed of nails. Another might strike his head upon a pillar thousands this of times. This lady's crazy. Among Buddhists, there are the ascetics. They perform a thousand day circumambulation, walking 30 miles a day around steep mountains. Holy moly. And they chant the mantras without pausing to eat, drink, or even sleep for nine whole days. They will die. It is said that the founder of Zen Buddhism, the monk Bodhidharma, sat cross-legged facing a wall without rest for nine years straight. But how do all these things achieve moksha? Is it because pain and penance cause your desires and thoughts to dull and disappear? No. That may be part of it. Or is it perhaps the state of nothingness that comes over you 
upon achieving these feats. One may come to the conclusion that desires themselves are illusory. Knives has a slightly different interpretation. Do you know how a debugger finds bugs in games? They try to run into walls over and over and over again. They go to places that normal players won't go, or leave the game on for days. They do things that normal players don't do. Unpredictable actions that the programmers failed to anticipate. That is how bugs that weren't even considered in the planning stages are found. Does this remind you of anything? Hitting your head on a pillar a thousand times. Sitting toward a wall for nine years. What if these actions were not anticipated by the creator? What if these actions uncovered bugs in the real world? In other words, these practitioners of the extraordinary- It's because he passed away? So they have an RIP for him in Kagami's bio? Oh, I'm gonna have to read it again. ...are trying to find the seams. Find them and achieve enlightenment. Learn the secret of this world. The truth. And so we believe that Moksha is this journey. Uh, I don't want to listen to anymore, but I feel like I have to. Form is emptiness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. So reads the doctrines in Buddhist scriptures. Emptiness is not separate from form. Form is not separate from emptiness. Whatever is form is emptiness. Whatever is This isn't that important, is I'll tell you. Emptiness He's right, this is, is a game. You're rewarded for your efforts, but punished when you make a wrong choice. Emptiness. I mean, this form is a game. Is for real. Is form. Everything in this world is false. false. If you're exhausted of it, feel free to skim it without listening to the VA. Shoto but it's your play Taishi. through. Spread Buddhism in oh Japan. yeah, I'm. I'm a, he's a, a Buddhist. I will give the butter. Okay, uh, that's enough. I don't care. She's annoying. <laughs> he's crazy. Well, that sure was something. Didn't help much though. Not necessarily. This information might come in handy later. <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, there was no information on Amame. Let's go somewhere else. We got some important information. She was going to have a party. Uh, let's see. File. Oh, excuse me. A person six years ago. Ooh, Terror got updated. Prime suspect wears an iron mask. Psh. Uh... Taxi driver. Skills. Stalking. Stakeouts. Taking the scenic route. A private taxi driver. Has an accent. Lem the skate regularly requests his services as he... And he often gives rides to their talents. Okay. Okay. Creepy. Name. Takshi Ibarado. <laughs> ah, his name is Taxi Driver. Inspector. Hmm... Oh, R.I.P. Brad, Brad Venable. Okay, okay. Unlike Kagami, your name will never be forgotten. Oh. Okay, let's leave this place. Uh, Kuma Kuda office? Why? I'll go to Brahmin. Thankfully, the game gives it that's enough choice because they know it's stupid! Maybe the game is aware of itself and you, the player. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so hot. Oh, it's getting so hot. I didn't want to take a shower, but I'm sweating. Oh. Amame. She was here earlier. Really? She left pretty quick, though. Where is she? Uh, where is Mame? She said she was headed to Iris's house. The Sagan household, huh? Thanks. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but... Brahman, but you're a woman. Are you a bra woman? Ha ha ha. It's getting so hot. That's what Shelly said. Yes, because it is getting very hot in here. Now that I think about it, I don't think I know your real name. And you never will. 
Joan a few times on her PS4. Not really. It's not my full name. I don't think she cares because it's a very common Korean English name. True. But you will never know. Her phone is out of battery. She told me earlier. I see. Why are you looking for a mame? Yen and Mame are close. I can't tell him there's a reason to believe Mama ran into terror. I don't want him to worry about her. I'll play it off. Well, uh, you see... Why was Mama here? It's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? Well, she brought some chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? Mama saw terror at the studio. Right after that, she saw Komeji's body. But she still bought Gen chocolate? Hmm. I tried calling Iris. But still no dice. Uh, not gonna say! Ha 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 ha. Prozy D getting chocolate. How kind of him. <laughs> we should just head to the Sargon household. Yeah, good idea. Why didn't you pick up the phone? I was so busy today. We're expecting a lot of customers, so I have a lot of prep to do. Why are you expecting a rush? You know about what happened in Shinjuku yesterday? No. We're actually pretty close to there. A rocket? That's right. So anyway, there's tons of people around here now. I thought some of them might stop by here. Cool, bye. Uh, Sagan Residence. You still live here! Your shelves are still so I'm sorry. empty. I think you're just one step behind. Mame was here, but she left with Iris to go somewhere. I see. It's the picture! There are pictures on the wall. Yeah. Tommy Wink Sink. I'm sorry, Mame. Iris is taking a long time to get ready. Mame? Okay. Uh, about Date. Date and Hitomi had a deep relationship. I know that. Why do you ask? Well, um... I haven't seen Date in a while. I've been waiting for him, but... I'm sorry to ask such a delicate question. No, it's okay. Why are you not together? Uh, where did Iris and Mame go? I'm not sure. They didn't tell me where they were going. Anything off about Iris and Mame? Anything off about them? Like a state of shock or panic, maybe? Let me think. Iris seemed normal, but I do recall Mame seemed troubled. She didn't say a word while she was here. Like her head was somewhere else? While Iris was preparing to leave, she just stared off into the distance. Sorry to have wasted your time. There's no such thing as wasting time when you're investigating. Even the most insignificant piece of information could be relevant. Ryuki, I've never seen you so positive. Maybe you're a good influence on me. Let's get going. We need to find Mame. <laughs> Where could she be? Where could she be? Yoyagi Park? I don't want to go to Kumakura office. I feel like I will get annoyed. Oh, we already know your name. It's in the title, Jelly Toasty Toast. You can't fool us. <laughs> yep. I'm guessing it's like Kim. Yeah. It's a big, famous Korean last name. Very common. <laughs> No such thing as a waste of time, except talking philosophy. Exactly. Oh no, if I see Liam here, Don't I'll get like annoyed. Mama is here. But wait, Liam No! Is... Gosh darn it! Liam is obsessed with Kizuna, and Kizuna is Mame's friend. Jelly is famous? No. Yeah, he might know where Mame is. Let's ask. Oh, you again. What's up? D 
Do you know a girl named Amami Doi? Oh, Kizzy's friend. Of course I know her. Do you know where she is? Yeah, I do. Really? I saw her earlier. Where? Hmm, I don't know. I will beat you up. Give me a hundred thousand yen and I'll think about it. No. You can't be serious. I'm low on cash. Come on, Ryuki. Fine. We'll do this. No. Leon, do you have a 500 yen coin? Yeah, I do. I'm going to look away, and you put it in one of your hands. If I can guess which hand it's in, tell me for free. And if you're wrong? I'll pay you. All right. Sounds good to me. X-ray vision. Let's do this. Don't peek. I have a favorite philosopher. What? He has one of my favorite quotes. Said it long ago and stuck with me ever since. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> I just gave you a name. I'll call you Barbara. Whoa, interesting name. Cheaty Toast. Wow, Fatal Frame 4. Hey, oh, Nanoja. Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, I can't believe they're localizing it. Now I get to like fully understand what the heck they were trying to do with that game. Guess which hand is it in? Can I X-ray vision? X-ray. You can see Leon's bone structure. Scan both his hands and left hand. Left hand, huh? We get to hear Jelly scream. Are you sure? Yep. You can change it if you want to. Did he change it? Still in his left hand. Okay. Uh, darn it. Ah ha 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 ha! See? How did you know? I'm a magician. Superpowers. Ah, damn. Well. And it looks like they kept all the original promise. Japanese voices too. I guess they don't want to spend the extra money and effort dubbing. I saw Mommy at Ion. Ion. That's the child services facility run by Richie Chieda. He's in his father. It's Valentine's Day today, right? We promised to meet up tonight, but I couldn't wait. I wonder if they're only going to have like um, a digital version from the eShop, or right if they're going to have physical cartridges too. I kind of like to get a physical cartridge. Seeing her from afar is enough. So that's why I went to Ion. It's kind of like wanting to watch porn before going to happy ending. When we're saying places. something about Tales of Destiny, I'm hoping it's another remaster report for current gen. I'm sick of tired of Symphonia. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, what? What is this conversation? I don't think this is anything like that. Mame was there. Mame, Kizzy, and Iris were talking. They had real serious looks on their faces. I couldn't barge into their conversation, so I left without saying anything. Good job, dude. They were discussing something serious then. Those three saw Komeji's body at Studio Devita. Maybe they were talking about that. Why are you even looking for Mame? Pony toast. Oh yeah, I love Symphonia. Well, you see- I love- Wait. Oh my gosh. Mama Why can't I think of it? HP oh no. Place? Yuri. Flynn. Oh my gosh. What? No, that definitely couldn't be it. Yuri. Flynn. Which tales is that? <sighs> Zilia. Graces. Berseria. Zesteria. Symphonia. How deep do you like your ocean? 400 million! It's beyond Earth. It's to the moon. <laughs> Vesperia! I can't believe I forgot. I'm a fake fan. No! Wait, I can't move? I have to talk to you more? Wink, sink. Also, y'all, they're remastering a wonderful life. What's a wonderful life? Oh, Kizzy! Yeah, I'm excited for tonight. We should meet. My brother was asking me about that game I bought by mistake okay, okay. but returned it. I'll <gasps> see you there. What? Why? Good games. Oh, Harvest Moon, a wonderful life. I've never played any Harvest Moons. 
Uh, why do you think Mama is a suspect? Oh, actually, four days ago, on the 10th of February, I saw Mommy then too, in front of Horadori Institute. She didn't notice me though. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. What business does she have at that research facility? That's what I was thinking to myself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nai's Japan. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why would you think she's suspect just because of that, right? Well, you're right. I don't even know if Mame and Tokiko saw each other in there anyway. Not to mention Tokiko was killed two days ago, on the night of the 12th. So maybe it's got nothing to do with it. Nah, it probably doesn't. Just coincidence. But for whatever reason, it caught my attention. Uh, what are you drinking? Oh, this? It's Alfre. Intended direct here. felt like I'm watching nothing but farming simulator. Yeah, there I were really like love this drink. three different farming simulating games. There was Harvest Moon, Did you buy Harvest that? Stella, and another farm game. I'm just like, what? what's of with I did. the obsession with farm games? Are they trying to make it like Animal Crossing, but have action ad adventure okay. stuff Maybe in there too? I did um. steal a lot before. I know it's nothing to brag about, but they did Being actually me the being helpful, I know. It's crazy. Ugh, but that's all in the past. A Wonderful Life, Rune Factory, Harvest All, like five other farming games. Yeah. Did you always steal by yourself? It depended on what needed stealing. Sometimes I went alone, sometimes in pairs. Oh yeah, they're making Octopath Traveler 2, and this time it looks like their sto the character stories are actually going to overlap, and they're going to interact with each other more. I'm like, why couldn't you think of that for the first game? I still have to finish the first game. Ugh. If it was a big target, like some mansion in the boonies, I'd go with a team of five or six guys. The leader of the group was a Kumakura. You know them, right? That's how I met MoMA, the chairman of the Kumakuras. Yeah, I still have to go to Kumakura office. Gosh darn. I was usually partnered with Quartz. They were kind of like a bodyguard. Helped me out whenever I got in a sticky situation. Why am I even telling you all this? I think I've said too much. Please forget it. It's all in the past. Like I said. What is it? All right. I'm gonna get going. Okay, bye. I'm gonna see Kizzy tonight. I need to head to the beauty salon first. Beauty salon? Do you have money for that? Anyway, adios. Ciao. I love farming games, so this was my favorite Why direct. Was at Horror <gasps> Institute? Nintendo is trying to tell us something. The end is near and we need to learn survivability. Ah! Four days ago. It's interesting that Tokiko was behind her as well. Hmm. Horidori Institute. I remember. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horidori Institute. I got Zysteria is what I was going for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We totally put I have Zysteria and Berseria. They're just sitting there. We need to go search that hidden room. Waiting to be played. Uh, but going now would be pointless. If it's a hidden room, it's gotta be a secret and locked up tight. They're not just gonna let us in there. Anyway, we should focus on the task at hand. Find a mommy. Pikmin 4. Oh yeah, Pikmin 4. Yeah. I've never played the Pikmin though, so... Her at I -O -N. I O N. I second farming games. Recently got Yakuza Ishin 2 like a month ago and it's getting remastered. I can stop playing and wait now. Yep, 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 yep. It looks cool. <laughs> I like how first they were fighting with swords and then all of a sudden, gun! <laughs> Never play Pikmin? Mm mm. Pama and I headed to Iowa to find Mame. She was nowhere to be seen. Neither was Kizuna or Iris, who were supposedly with her. I asked a worker if they saw the three girls. They answered, I saw them here before, but that was a while ago. Well, we tried. Let's go. No, wait. That person over there. No, I don't want to talk. Oh, That's... her. Excuse me. Nice I saw that mean it reminds me of Pokemon Go. Never play neither. <laughs> Wink, sink. 
I need to hurry. If I don't... Oh yeah, the mask is going to be... Your mask is upside down. The body is the opposite. What? Why are you barefoot? Rats don't wear shoes. But you're not a rat. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> are you really a rat? Or a good guy? <laughs> squeak, squeak. Are you a rat? Your clothes are worn out. I forgot to put mothballs in the dresser. What are you doing here? Breath. Okay. Pigment Where bloom is, is so bad. Oops. <laughs> Where is the main event taking place? Main event? She's so sassy. She is. There she goes. What was she talking about? Maybe a Halloween event or something? Wrong season for that. Halloween is all about costumes. Speaking of costumes, makes me think about monsters, which makes me think about unidentified animals, UMA. My favorite Uma is the Chupacabra in Puerto Rico. It has big fangs in its mouth and it sucks the blood of humans and livestock. It can jump over 15 feet. I don't remember the specific, specific height, but it seems to be relatively small in, com in comparison to the other monsters. Maybe she was talking about that nice. one thing. What? Don't make me say it. You know what I mean, don't you? I absolutely don't. There's no point in paying further attention to her. We should head to... A different spot. Didn't you play Danganronpa and you do like VN game, so that new Danganronpa-like game, you might like it. I still haven't played Danganronpa. So I didn't really pay attention to the trailer when I saw it was a Danganronpa game because I didn't want to be, like, swayed. By like new gameplay stuff or like characters or whatever, so I didn't really pay attention to it. Hey Ryuki, what's up? I wanted to ask you something. Wink sink. Oh shit, a shooting star! I want chocolate from Tessa. I want chocolate from Tessa. I want chocolate. Damn it, I couldn't send a third one in time. Uh, about Mame. You're talking about a Mame doi? Tessa's friend. JT hasn't played Dangan yet. I've been trying to peer pressure her. Yo, I gotta so finish you know so many other games first. Of course. I know everything about Tessa. So what about Mame? She might have some valuable information about the case. I'm trying to find her. Do you happen to know where she is? Sorry, I got no idea. I see. Uh, how are you doing? Not bad. Tonight, Tessa is gonna have a Valentine's Day stream. Oh, thinking about it makes my heart dance. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ask for information on the HB case. Why are you even asking me? Yakuza have connections all throughout the underworld. So I thought you might know something. <sighs> anything would help. Rumors, anything. Rumors, huh? So our parent group, the Ujisagi, there's this higher up that's connected to Nice. Oh, useful info. I did hear something from him. The president of Nice Japan, Tokiko Shigure. She was in a relationship with the head of Horidori Institute, Chikara Horidori. Yeah, we knew that. What? Didn't we know that? Of course, this isn't recent. We're talking decades ago. Yeah. Back then, Tokiko wasn't even the boss. She was just some grunt at Nice. But Chikara, on the other hand, was pretty high up the ladder at Nice. Used his newfound power to get with Tokiko. Back when she was in her 20s, I <laughs> heard she was a hottie. But like I said, she was young and naive. Play for Miyuki Sawashiro at her finest performance, though I've never any Danganronpa or watched the anime. I've only played the spin-off Danganronpa game. Wait, who is Miyuki Sawashiro in Danganronpa? Chikara basically tricked her. He was married at the time. Ew, he he's a predator. Kids. Tokiko was his mistress. Real secret relationship type shit. About Tokiko and Chikara. Yeah, that's all I know about that. But I do have some more dirt on Chikara. This was also decades ago, but Chikara went to child service agencies all over Japan and got something from them. What? 
DNA samples. He said it was for DNA treatment or something. But I don't buy it. My guess is he was doing something shady. Horidori Institute was real sketchy. Is that why Kizuna's dad was like related to Horidori? Because he's got that Ioan garden. That's for orphans. Mm. Mm. Tokiko and Chikara in an illegitimate relationship. And Chikara getting kids' DNA. Hmm. Let's figure it out later. We still need to find Mame. I guess that was semi useful. Fukia? Or something? She's a bookworm with a split persona. Just watch a clip scene from her. She's crazy good. Hmm. I'll have to look it up. Chitara! <laughs> Hey, don't get in the Kotatsu without permission. How'd you get out of the Ferris wheel? It's cold out, and I'm cold. What are you doing here? I wanted to ask a few things, but before that, Shoma... Um... No, never mind. Don't worry about it. I decided not to ask him about what happened at the studio. It would be cruel to remind him, not to mention I didn't want him running off again. It would probably be best to avoid talking about Komeji and the interrogation from the cops. I wanted to ask about... Weak sink. Dad... Dad... I shouldn't have said that you should die. It's all my fault. Oh. <laughs> no, kid, no! Shoma... Uh... How did you get out of the Ferris wheel? Huh? What are you talking about? The Ferris wheel at Misaton. I didn't go to Misaton. What? That's impossible. I definitely saw you get on the Ferris wheel. Maybe you saw my doppelganger? Or maybe my clone. Your clone? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I mean, we may have the technology for it, but I've never heard of any human clones. Not to mention, it's forbidden by law. The law doesn't mean anything. Not to a psycho like Chikara. What do you mean? Are you applying that at Horadori Institute? Yeah, they're researching cloning. So maybe they secretly made my clone. Impossible. She's Toko. Okay, I will have to look it up. Toko. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well... I'm not kidding about Horidori Institute research and cloning. Just about cloning me. How do you explain the Ferris wheel then? Maybe you were seeing things. Seeing things? Maybe you got the TC Purge. Purge? What is that? Last year they invented a way to edit genes called Purge. Purge was developed by Horidori Institute. TC Purge is kind of like a virus. What is TC Purge? People at Horidori Institute called it the organic nanomachine. It acts kind of the way a virus does. When it enters the body, it latches onto bacteria, and a protein complex called CRISPR-Cas beta is made. CRISPR-Cas beta can cut, move, and attach certain DNA nucleotide sequences. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make you see things, make you dance. It makes you do weird things over and over. And on top of that, TC Purge multiplies in the body. It takes over the multiplication functions of bacteria and makes copies of itself. And it can be passed to other people with your breath. Whoa. Shoma. That's How dangerous. You know this? Well, there's just some stuff. Uh, okay. About the code for BATS 490. Shoma. You still haven't told me why you lied. Lied? About the code for BATS 490. That wasn't referring to Horidori Institute, but you said it was. Sheesh, can you just let it go? I didn't solve the code. I'm looking for Mame. Yeah? Do you know where she is? I have no idea. Okay, good. I didn't have to ask him about his dad. Ryuki, we can hold off on Horidori Institute. Stuff? What? We need to prioritize. Yeah, we need to find Mame. 
Bye, kid. Oh wait, but we still don't know what Komeji um, took for blackmailing. Will we ever find out? After that, we searched all over the city to look for Mame. But ultimately, we couldn't find her. So, wait, but the, she was with Iris and Kuzna. Can't we track their phone GPS? This doesn't make any sense. The sun is setting. Let's give up on finding Amame for now. No, not yet. There's one more place I want to go. I didn't mention it before now because I thought, considering Mame's mental state, it would be a long shot. But maybe... Hey, can you just cut to the chase? Where are you talking about? The maid cafe she works at. She's at the maid cafe, Sunfish Pocket in Akiba. Or just track Iris's phone GPS. Yeah, why don't we just do that instead of like... Because we knew she went out with Iris. So then just track her phone. Or she's right here. So is Leon. Mommy, you were here this whole time? We were looking for you. Sorry to interrupt, but Mame can't talk right now. I don't really know how, but she lost her voice. She must still be struggling with what happened at the studio. But then, why is she here at the cafe? Wait, Leon's here. What is he doing here? I thought he had a date with Kizuna. Wait, first Amame. Uh, about her. Mame. You ran into terror at the studio, didn't you? Did they say anything to you? Like I said, Mame can't talk right now. I thought I told you. About the incident at Studio Devita. Hey, what happened at the studio? Ellie, I saw you pointing at Leon's crotch. I want nothing to do with his crotch. The cursor just happened to anything be there. All would be helpful. Why did you go to Horadori? Four days ago, on the 10th of February, you went to Horadori Institute, right? Leon told me. Hey, come on! Why did you go to Horadori Institute? Did you meet Tokiko there? I'm gonna smack you. Why are you here? Seeing that you're wearing your outfit, are you working today? Of course, it's Valentine's Day. There's going to be tons of customers here, and they need as many mermaids as they can get. So her manager begged her to work today. Even though she can't talk? She can write, but... Hmm... Leon, why are you here? I told you, I was going to meet Kizzy today. She wanted to meet here. Where is Kizuna now? She told me a little bit ago that she's running late. She'll be here after she finishes shopping with Iris. Oh, is Iris coming too? Yeah, it was actually Iris who planned the night out. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. What does that mean? I don't really know, actually. All I know is, this wasn't a solo date with me and Kizzy. Uh-huh. I don't understand what Mommy could be thinking. What's going on in her head? She's not thinking. Why you That's why she's dumb. Something? Looking at her now, I don't think she'll write anything. Well, then... Yeah, we should ask her heart, using the sink machine. Oh, snap! We're gonna go inside her brain. Do I want to sink now, or do I want to save it for next time? <sighs> mm -hmm. Let's do it now. Good thing Boss and Pewter aren't here. I'm sure they'll chew you out later. You know it's a crime to use the machine without permission. You could even get fired for this. It's fine. If I get results, boss won't care. Hmm, you think so? Tama, can you control the machine? 
You can do it remotely, right? Are you really going to do this? Mame ran into terror. I'm sure of it. It's highly likely she knows something important. Please, Tama. Please help me. You're my only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my oh, only hope. You're so annoying! Next time you need your bath and Fine, sleep. I'll do it. That's true. I am sleepy. I've been sleepy the whole day. I need to learn. I need to sleep earlier. Also, it's already been two hours. I mean, it is a good place to I'm stop. I'm going to skip the warning message because I'm sure you already know. Okay, start it. What was that? Could you start, please? That's better. Here I go. Three. Okay, I'll two, just jump in one. and save, and then that'll be it. Whew. Night, night. Let me just save real quick. By the way, are those Minans? Oh, they are. They're so cute. Oh yeah, I still have to play the update for Final Fantasy XIV. So many things to do, so little time. Load faster. Ooh. There's a glitch in the Matrix. Okay. This is Studio Devita. The Faith to Face set is still up. That means... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. We have the brand new star of the net world visiting us today. What? Please, show us your dance. You want me to dance? <laughs> no, I'm not Aiba. I can't dance. Come on, let's see it. Ugh, I hate that look he gets in his eyes when he's ignoring me. Fine, I'll do it. Dance! Resist, allow your heart to take you. Never let this merciless world erase you. And you shall that... be bathed in that light. That didn't really do, do, do it for do, me. Do, 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 do. Invincible rain and bow arrow. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeji. It's Komeji. His facial expression isn't changing at all. It, it's creepy. This is a competition for the one and only Quiz King's throne. And tonight, as always, we have a head-to-head -head battle between the champion and challenger. And of course, the champion is me, Andy's Komeji. He sounds so dead. The challenger is... Me? Can the challenger beat me? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. What the hell is this? I didn't agree to this. I knew Mommy liked quiz shows, but I didn't expect her to dream about them, too. The rules are simple. After five rounds of quizzes, whoever has more correct answers will be the winner. Oh no! Did my stream go down? No! The winner will receive this amazing prize. What? The prize is a mame? Okay, then I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna save this here. And you. Oh, eyeball first and then I'll save and then that'll be it. Because for some reason, Stu decided to die. What do you think of mermaids? They're pretty. Oh. My eyeball is gonna grow up to be a messed up abomination. But anyways, I'm just gonna save this here before we even start the sink. Data is saved. Cool. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Stream is just dead. I don't know why. Uh, but this means I get to go sleep earlier. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night. Bye.